If you're facing the Merchant Center misrep presentation error, the chance is very high that you already invest a lot of time and energy trying to fix it in your account, but you are not successful yet. And that's why you came across this video. The strategies behind unlocking a Merchant Center almost change on a weekly basis because Merchant Center is continuously improving and updating their algorithm from Google's site. Therefore, as e-commerce stores, we continuously need to try different things and try to find different solutions to unblock our account and go live on Google Ads. My name is Robin and I've been active in the e-commerce industry since early 2019. Whereas I also help people successfully unblock their Google Merchant Center account on a daily basis. In this video, I would like to take the time and explain the workflow, how we did the review in the first place and how we actually do it right now in accordance with the newest Google Merchant Center policies. Previously, the best structure to go over a review from Merchant Center was going to support.google.com. Then you could go to the Merchant Center selection and you can implement all details that you changed on the website to gain a little bit of trust from the Merchant Center employee. They were checking everything from their side and sometimes they would unlock your account or give you clear explanation what could be done to go and unlock your account. But this strategy recently changed because if you go through this section, you most likely get an automated reply of a refuse to take applicants like this way. So therefore, I would like to explain you the new strategy. What is most successful takes less time from your site and less time from the Google time and get reviewed much faster with a higher success rate. But before sharing this new strategy, I would like to highlight that Google is never going to tell you the details what I just explained you. They simply have policy with restrictions that they need to follow so they give zero information about anything in the Merchant Center or the specifications you need to have on your website to be unblocked. So if you appreciate the time and effort I put in creating this kind of videos make sure to put a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. All right so now that you did that let's continue with the new strategy. So the new strategy is actually by going inside your Merchant Center account uh, most of the time you see that the uh, products are not improved here and then you have a banner which is stating that you need to fix your account. So you click fix. There you see the misrepresentation error. Currently they are active in the shopping listing, dynamic remarketing and free listing. So this advertiser uh, clearly cannot advertise on any of the opportunities. And here is the new thing you need to implement. So here is the uh, hyperlink that goes to an ID check. And actually you need to click there and verify things like your passport, your utility bills and your company address and details. And then you're able to disagree with the merchant center issue and you're able to check the account issue from there and apply a review. So this is the new way of doing. It takes actually less time from your side and less time from the Google Merchant Center side. So the chance is higher that you get approved faster. And sometimes if your details and address things not corresponding with each other, then you need to try again, which you can see happened in this Merchant Center account that we are fixing right now. So you need to make sure that most likely your information from your Google Merchant Center account is the same as your Google Ads account and your payment profile uh, from Gmail. So therefore, it's very important that everything is at the same time. Otherwise, they refuse it, as you can see in the screen right here. And then you can just need to try again with submitting all the details. So your payment profile is very important. It needs to have the same IDs as in Google Ads and in the Merchant Center. Your company details need to be the same and your utility bills need to contain the same information as you have stated in the ID card and the utility uh, address from your company. So that's super important. Right now we will try again for this uh, advertiser uh, to be unblocked in the Merchant Center. But most of the time I would say 95% goes through automatically if you have the right details. So and if this strategy has not been proven to work for you yet, make sure to watch the recommendation video after this where I go over my free checklist for the Merchant Center and explain everything you need to have in detail on your website to be unblocked by the Google Merchant Center. After you fix your full website according to my checklist, then you can apply and submit your ID and company details as I explained in this video and you're fully ready to get your account back and advertise profitable on Google Ads. My name is Robin and thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.